Have you ever longed for something for years, but it takes so long to happen? Well, I'm not talking about Rajnikanth's entry into politics. Good afternoon to everyone present here. I would like to take you all a few years back in time. I was sitting with my father, who was glued to the TV, sitting on a brown couch with apple juice to his side and a 42-inch TV. I asked him, why are you so glued to the TV? He said, son, I'm watching the game of cricket. Well, I don't see any bugs here. Oh, you've got a lot to learn, buddy. After a few years, my dad taught me how to swing a ball. I had been practicing without telling him for a while. And the big day came where I had to show what I'd learned. He booked the nets for me. And it was all set. Tension building in my mind. I wanted to bowl the ball as straight as I could on the stumps. I ran in and as I released the ball, boom! The whole room went dark. Yes, I had broken the light. So that's how my journey of cricket started. When I joined coaching in the age of 10, I had seen many senior players going and playing many matches. I too wanted to get, have a chance to play. I asked my coach and he, to my surprise, said that I have a match in one month's time. I was delighted and overwhelmed. I woke up so early in the morning and started practicing. And trust me when I say this, I'm not a morning person. My parents gave me encouragement to do well in the match. Three weeks passed and it was the day before the match. I was so excited and the playing 11 was announced and I was in one of them, of course. The next day, thunderstorm, hails and rains. And as you guessed it, the match was cancelled. I was really depressed and devastated. Well, but that's when my parents told me not to worry about things that are not under your control. Only worry and get tensed about the things that are under our control. Eventually, I got a match to play. Having just five runs to win, I went into bat. The bowler came running in like a bullet train. And I swung my bat as hard as I could, even feeling the breeze through my helmet. I had looked to where I intended to hit the ball, but found it right on my stumps. Yes, I had been bowled out for a duck on my very first match. After that, in my second match, it was a quite different scenario. As a captain with 30-40 runs to his name and a team needing so many runs to win, we were stranded in the middle of the wicket due to a false call for a run. Due to my quick thinking, I passed my captain, sacrificing my wicket for him and the team. Turns out that sacrifice really paid off as he went on to hit a marvellous hundred and even winning the game for us. While the umpires were reading out the scores, I had very little runs to my name. But I had gotten a special mention for team play and team spirit. If you all think I had gotten a few man of the matches after that, you guys are absolutely right. Yes, I did get a few man of the matches, but till this day, I am striving to do better and to join many camps and go for several more matches and learn from some great superstars of Tamil Nadu and India, such as Ravichandran Ashwin, Srikanth, and really get some advice from their journey and learn from their journey. It's not possible for everyone to be in the playing 11, a squad of 25. But we must keep small goals and keep on working to that. With hard work, determination and an iron will, success would come in one way or another. The same brown couch, apple juice to the side.
watching on a 42 inch TV. The only difference was the person glued to the TV is me.